let's talk about Swagger and why do we need Open API? Why do we need Swagger? In this module, I'm gonna introduce you to Swagger. First of all, you must familiar with Open API. It's a description of HTTP based API, which are typically RESTful APIs. Open API is a standard to define the RESTful API, like how can you define the response? How can you define the request parameters? You will define this response or the request format in the YAML file. YAML file would be definition that describes the input or the output of the API. You can define when request has made successfully, what would be the output of the API. It can also include information such as where the API is hosted, what's the version of the API, what do I need authorization to send the request. You can define all these type of stuff in YAML file. You can, you, uh, you can also generate code like if you are using Node.js, JavaScript, C Sharp, or Java, you can generate the code. You can generate the functions from the Swagger tools. I'll show you how to generate the code. So this is the example of YAML file. You can see we have open API, info, title. This is the example of your any API. The server would be listening on this URL. The path, you ha we have the get endpoint. You can see that we have the get endpoint. You can define parameters in path. We also I'm I here I'm I'm expecting the breed name as a parameter. You can see that breed name as a parameter. The type of this parameter is string. Here we define the responses. You can see that when request has made successfully, you will get the JSON object with these properties: status, message, and the items. So don't worry, we're going to talk more about camel files. So Swagger UI is a documentation tool. You can test your API with the help of Swagger UI. I do have some example of Swagger UI. When you go to the swagger.io slash tools slash swagger.editor, when you go to the live demo, you can interact with built-in Swagger API project. how Swagger works or how the open API works. We will define the API documentation like API definitions in YAML file just like that. And Swagger tools will generate the API documentation like that, this API documentation. You can also generate a server-side mockup or the server-side code. If you're using Node.js, you can also generate the code. You can also generate the client SDK. If you want to use Android, Angular, React, you can also use some SDK. Swagger also provides some SDK. And what you can do, you can also extract extract the code. Here you will write your code. You will write your logic here. Here I have Swagger project. This is the YAML file. We have this endpoint slash pet the first endpoint is add new post don't worry we're gonna create them in the later videos what is put what is delete these are the http verbs so this is the swagger editor you can send request they also edit the authentication we're gonna build this api with swagger tools as I told you, Swagger is an open source software set of tools to design, build, and document and use stressful web services. It has developed by a smart peer software company. It also includes automated documentation, code generation, and test case generation. We, we're gonna use these tools in this course, Swagger Editor. I, I explained to you this is the Swagger Editor to test the API. You will also learn about the Swagger UI, Swagger Inspector, Swagger Code Generation is used to generate the code. Swagger Hub, it's a cloud platform to host your API. So 
that was the introduction of swagger and the open api